Matt's Matt's been a, a a friend for a lot of years, and uh, he's a very talented man, great producer, great engineer, great musician. And working with him is great because he, we we kind of well, Andy was saying earlier, just kind of how his lyrics reflect the times, things he's going through. Obviously, I think last time we did an interview with you, I brought up this quote. It was a Nina Simone quote. It was an artist's job is to reflect the times. And I think Matt gets what we were doing with the album, and, and we were reflecting on, especially with this new album, we were reflecting on the, the, the state of kind of like madness, um, insecurity in a, in a sense of like um, musically somewhat, and just, just turmoil and kind of lo losing your way a bit and kind of deteriorating but in a in a in a good spot like for a growth right and he kind of got that with the album and and this out the new album is very menacing and it's it's amazing what he did with it he he really understood what we were trying to do and it's turned into quite a body of work and that's it like he said he knows us as people and as friends but he's able to maintain that professional authority Right? Like he's our buddy, and we could joke around and be like, oh, you dirtbag, or whatever, right? As buddies, right? He'll call, you know, yeah, he, yeah, he's like, oh, you shitty whatever, dude. <laughs> like, so you can give us shit with friends, right? Of right. course, right? We're buddies. And in that sense, like, cool us out if we're getting stressed or whatever. He's like, hey, guys, come on, come in here. You know what I mean? Like, pull up, like, a joke or, like, a fart noise on the computer. <laughs> or not. Well, anyways. Yeah. Something, you know what I mean, just to smooth it out. But then at the same time, there's that professional integrity where he gets pro with it. And he's like, nope, this isn't good enough. This isn't good enough. And he will, you know what I mean? It's that fine line that not, I think, some producers can't maintain. Where if they're your buddy, that's going to override the whole thing. Or if they're too professional... That's going to override the whole thing. But he's got that fine line really adjusted where he's your friend, but also kind of your enemy. Not your right. enemy, but he's pushing you. I, he was my enemy at times. Yeah, he was. <laughs> <laughs> we each other a few times. What the fuck was wrong with that? Uh, yeah, and he's like, <laughs> oh, come on. And he's, yeah, yeah, and he'd stop it. He's just like, guys, like, come in for a second. You know what I mean? It's like, this. listen to this. It's like, that was, is that what you want kind of thing? Right? And you're not... You know what I mean? And he kind of puts it on. Puts it on. Reluctant, right? Yet, so. Yeah, and he puts it on you where you're like, yeah, wow. He's like, here's the mirror. Like, you see this? And you're like, wow, I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, and then he calls right, this shot. Right? And then he's like, yeah, that's right. You saw that, right? He, he, yeah. he sees it in her eyes. He's like, yeah, you're doing that. So that, having that relationship and that kind of thing where he's still authoritative. Right. But also your friend at the time, too, right? To cool you down when you're not. You know, challenge or you're not flowing. He'll well, let you know. You know, it's good to have that, that that kind of medium balance, just because, like, I mean, what people don't get is recording an album, album or EP is not exactly the easiest thing in the world, right? There's a lot of thought and hard work that goes into it, so they always get the, the other side of it, especially when they get a producer, because, like you said, no, you got lucky because he's kind of in between, but then you get some producers who are just like a hard ass and people can't work with them. And uh, one of the best examples is Soundgarden. Uh, uh, Chris Cornell's wife. Uh, first ever known she was working the album with him and they started working with a different uh, producer because they couldn't handle her yeah right. so exactly so I completely get where you're coming from with that and uh, you know it's just, just it's just nice to hear that that there are those still people out there who actually care about the music you know and they want to be your friend but they want to be kind of that perfect in between where they're no, no they're your buddy but they're not your best friend in the world because they're still going to be you know, kind of straight to the point saying, listen, you know, you got to change uh, the riff here, like, you know, put up a couple octaves or, you know, like, you know, uh, pull out the snare or don't put as much bass drum into that, that sort of thing. And it's, that's, that's what makes music so good. Well, and the thing too is, like you said, like investing in it personally, right? And it was a real thing that happened with this record that we're coming out with now. He came through beforehand and he came and heard us jam. He's like, show me the songs. Let me hear it. And, you know, you'd have an idea. And it's like, oh, like, maybe you're pushing this one too much. Maybe lean this one back. Or, like, hey, maybe, like, give me more. You know what I mean? And he'd say something. And we'd be like, huh. And the thing is, because he knows it, right? He works at EMAC right. and he has for years. And he's a professional. And so the thing is, is he's not just talking shit. Like, he actually, what he says. And that was a beautiful thing. Because sometimes, with some, especially when you're so attached to something. When somebody says, hey, maybe this. 
a lot of times you're going to be like, oh, maybe this. Like, you don't want to punch oh, him in the right, face, right? Because right, because it's so personally, personally, right? personally attached, absolutely. Right? So you're defensive, but the thing is, is that with this professional experience, but also just like the fact that he knows our music and kind of knows us and what we want to project, what he ended up with suggesting, would it be some right-wing thing or like some at a left field thing? Right. It would be like, here, try this. And we'd be like, oh, shit. Okay, that's it. It's a great idea, absolutely. Yeah, so we were with it, you know? It wasn't an attack on us. It was pushing us in the direction we were going, right? You know, and that's a very good point because the last time uh, we talked before the Berlin TV, like, literally a community, but can half hour before the show, before you guys went on, uh, I had asked you guys a lot about some of the songs you guys had played and said, no, you've had a whole bunch of stuff, like, kind of on the back burner that you've been working on or they've been worked on, but they just... You didn't want them on the EP, so we kind of save them for later. Yeah. So, with that being said, uh, some of the songs that you have chose for the album, have they been sitting like kind of way back and you just decided to rework them now because you got about a little bit more time and a little bit more studio time to do it? Or, um, th- we had a bunch of, of stuff that was pretty together, and then we had a few, a few pieces of music um, that are are strange very i think they're very strange at least and it and it's kind of turning into what i perceive as a concept album somewhat it turn it kind of when you listen to it through it kind of tells a story um you get the atmosphere and again that's because matt grady can not only hear what's there but hear what's not there as well and get what needed to be I done agree. out of us um but but as far as like Maybe there was one or two songs that we were really kind of slapped together, kind of thing, like with with Matt. I know I know Sea Fever, Matt, Matt and I kind of just hashed it out, and it and went great. We got it done really quick. But uh, yeah, just little pieces of music, like palate cleanses on the album, and it's a it's a strange approach. Right. It's not going to be just like singles off the bat, and then your B side at the end. It's it's a it's a journey. Well, you know, and that's that's a good way to go about it because you know people want like like more like kind of somewhat different stuff from the last album. You know, even though people say like you know like I want to kind of hear the same thing, they want a bit of a change. So changing is always a good thing because especially bands, you know, you don't have evolutionized like really quickly. Yeah, you know, a little bit at a time, and that's what kind of develops your sound and your your whole yeah. style that sort of thing. And uh, it just it just makes a lot of sense to me. And like I said, like. When I heard the first album to the Bird Language EP, like you know, completely different, and I like that, that fact. I like the fact yeah. that you know you're still some of the same sound, but you guys have evolved, and you're always evolving musically, right? Because yeah. you're always learning, and just like this show is just a constant learning process, and you always there's always new stuff you can find out and learn how to do, and kind of change your so just a little bit, not to the fact where it's a kind of like unknown, but just the fact where you know like these guys have been around for a while, and they got some great music, and now this certain like little twinge on it is just just fantastic so and people want more of that and that's what music is all about especially this day and age because you know we feel a lot of the the same kind of mundane always kind of same either riffs or if you're like in hip-hop the top 40 stuff it's always the same thing over and over again and you know it kind of tires out and the music world is ready for something new yeah yeah that's you know and, and even starting this project was kind of the same thing we're kind of all in our own right, sick and tired of the, the normal stuff, and we kind of just tried something new. And again, evolving as friends, as players, and a family, a greasy family at that. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> yeah, because I don't think it changes, right? And like for us, it's still we're still hungry, right? And we're still searching, and we're still expanding. And right. So you play like hundreds of shows together, and you practice time and time again and you're stoked when somebody comes through like patrick will show up with a new riff it's like here's a new riff and then bam like here's a new vocal melody sweet all right here's this lyrical theme you know what i mean oh i got this sax riff i got this drum riff you know the new stuff really excites you right and you're you grow with it and you're still playing your old material of course but you know what I mean? The new stuff starts to excite you and like that's where you're launching off from is where you started. But you grow and you get really into the new stuff. You're like, yeah, here it is, here it is, here it is. And so kind of like what you're touching on before, you know, some of the stuff 
you know, on this record, like maybe the new one that's coming out, like maybe some of the, like the oldest song on the record, you know what I mean? May have been six months old or something right. like that. Seven months old because that was one of the first new songs, right? Right. So we've had time with that and that, but we we're waiting till we had an album's worth or we were just waiting till we had the dough to do the record. Well, yeah, because it's, so it's, it's, not, it's not cheap. Obviously. Yeah, it's not cheap and the time, right? The timing, right? You get a book to do all that shit. So just that aspect where... You know, you're just, you're hungry to put it out and you want to share your new ideas. Now, do you guys have a title for the new album or uh, is that still kind of like a work in progress? Um, it's called Sea Fever. Um, yeah, that it's... Yeah, we're not going to explain it though, it's, right? Like, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's up for y'all to decide what it yeah. means, what you think that Everybody is. Everybody can get their, their own uh, feeling about it, so... Sea Fever, yeah. Oh, I'll get a feeling about it. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Yeah, but it's definitely like I said. This is really exciting to have your new ideas there, right? Well, yeah. You know, go I, ahead. I think it's kind of again evolution of a band or a, of a. Of, I think of it as a child a lot. You create this child, and you gotta take care of it, feed it, love it, right? Be there for it when it wakes up crying in the middle of the night, stuff <laughs> like that, and. Uh, and it, and it changes, it grows, and uh, it, it gets to the point, like, too, when you listen to our first EP, or second EP, and now our full length, and we've already written enough material to start thinking about <laughs> another one after, almost, you know, but uh, but when you think about it, it's, it's kind of, the changes in between with lineup, you know, we had a bunch of different sax players, and different different percussionists, and drummers, and such, and just trying to find the right line up and, right. and and again like what does this song want what does this album want it's almost not even like what do i want or what he wants it's mm. it's kind of like what, it's does own, it it's a, what does this child need what is what does your creation need it's not it's almost yeah what do these demons like to eat huh. yeah <laughs> you know and on that, that aspect actually i want to get into one thing and we don't have to go into too much detail if you don't want to but uh, I ran into uh, Jim the other day, and Jim left before the album. Do you guys care to talk about that at all, or do you want to That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's off limits. All right. Well, well go for it. Because, well, uh, like, like I said, I do work in the airport, and I did uh, run into Jim when he was flying out probably about a month ago now. And he said he left before you guys had started the crowdfunding uh, for the album. And now, now, was there any specific reason why he decided to leave, or do you guys care to talk about it? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's just, you know... Uh... It's, uh, it's a tough life, this band, you know? Like, he wasn't bitter at all. No, no, it's not bitter. We're not bitter. And that's yeah, the yeah, thing. And it was, you know, it was, he was like, he wish you guys all the good luck. No, and that's the though. thing is that it will always be that. And, uh, and I got to say, Jim Armstrong, like we wouldn't be here without him, yeah. right? Just like all the members that have been part of our band. Right. I mean that wholeheartedly. Like there was no way we'd be here without Jim. And I still love the man. And I always will, and he'll always be my brother. And it's just, you know, people's lives take different directions. Absolutely. And different things come up, and like it's whether it's financial or personal or whatever it is, like different shit comes up. And it, and also, too, music moves in a different way, too. Absolutely. So, you know, I just think maybe part of it was just we're moving musically in a different direction because you don't know. Like you said, oh, each I'm, album takes the jump. Absolutely, does. And it takes the jump, and then. Whether someone's into it or not, and they're, or maybe they have some shit they want to take care of. Right. And it's like, well, you know what? I maybe I can't do this now, or. And so yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, cause I was a little shocked because, like I said, I saw Jim about a month ago, and I seen the crop in a line, and I put some money in the whole thing, and so I talked to him. I didn't know anything had happened, and I said, well, you know, when's the album coming out? He's like, well, you know, maybe in October, maybe November. I'm not sure, it's boy. And Bob goes white off the bat. He's like. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> and I was like, and uh, I was like, oh, what the fuck do you mean, not the band? Yeah. <laughs> and like, what happened? Because he was flying out, right? So I was talking to him just for a few minutes, but I was like, I was like, I was like okay. Well, no, he's like, no, like, I wish him the best of luck, you know, because, like, you know, it's time to move on. And fair enough. And that stuff happens. And, uh, 
this is kind of leading to my next question about uh, Seamus, who told me it was a new uh, progression to kind of replace Jim. 